Hey everyone, it's Dr. Mitchell again, yay. Yeah, I get sick of hearing myself too. All right, so somebody asked a question on Instagram that I thought was a really good question and I wanted to answer it. I just realized I'm wearing two different socks. Um, out of the gates bad, already started the day off. Funky here and my stuff is not plugged in and uh, that's not good either. You gotta have your stuff plugged in because if you don't, your shit's gonna die and then your day's gonna be a wreck because you're not getting your constant dopamine hits from all the things that we're connected to that ping us like Instagram. Anyway, so the question asked was, <clears throat> is surgery a risk factor for autoimmune disease and flares? Eleanor Strang, did I say your last name right? Um, she's a nutritionist. She's doing some cool things. Ch check her out. Eleanor, that is a great question, and the answer is yes. So I have a really, really um, neat case to share with you. 31-year-old single mom, um, managed by the big um, rheumatology juggernauts in the valley, and they dropped the ball with her. They shall not be named. No physicians shall be named because I respect a lot of them, but they dropped the ball because they care more about academia and research than their patients, frankly put. And so she came to me. And so anyway, um, part of her story, so let me, let me talk about how she came into the office first. It was very interesting and the first time I've ever seen this, a, uni a unilateral, so one-sided uh, involvement of her joints and where it was most involved was her uh, PIPs, these guys right here, and her MCPs, these guys right here, that you knuckle bump or pop somebody in the face with. And uh, it was all of them. I think her wrist may have had synovitis too, and her elbow and her shoulders involved, and one of her knees. And uh, what does she have? I don't really know yet. Um, I reviewed two years of records, listened to her story. She has psoriasis. I'm seeing a lot of psoriasis. Uh, this month and last month and, and maybe there's like some bias in my mind that's you know making me gravitate towards these things and that's not actually what's going on but it, so like this other patient that I described in this other video or not not a video it was but actually in the post that Eleanor asked this question she has psoriasis big nice blotch on her uh, left the front of her shin and she's got it at the top of her inner gluteal cleft as well. And she gets a little bit uh, behind the ear, I think. That could be wrong, I'm not remembering. Too many people to remember. But um, what I do remember most vividly about her case, oh no, I was, I was talking about what she might have. So rheumatoid factor, CCP negative. Those are the two antibodies that we correlate with rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid factor, not very specific. CCP, very specific. I'm getting a notification from Coinbase. XRP is down 10.54%, so stay away from XRP. Um, I just derailed myself. Rheumatoid, and, uh, rheumatoid arthritis antibodies negative. She has psoriasis. She has this uh, synovitis that affects all of these joints. Psoriatic arthritis tends to go for these guys. However, psoriatic arthritis can be polyarticular as well and kind of mimic rheumatoid arthritis. But what's really peculiar is this one-sided thing. And so she might be a great uh, patient for homeopathic remedy, which I'm still trying to figure out. I thought about like a podium, but she doesn't have a lot of GI stuff and she's not very pompous and she doesn't strike me as, uh, I should ask her what kind of car she drives. I'm gonna ask her what kind of car she drives, okay. Mm, where was I? Oh, the original question, Eleanor. Surgery, risk factor for autoimmune disease and flares. Trauma is, okay, and how this all started in her. I got two different stories. From the records, I, heard, I read that she fell down some stairs. From her, she was saying that she was trying to climb a fence into her apartment, fell hit her head. I don't remember if she lost consciousness or not. A week later, the side, no, I can't say that. I don't know which side she hit her head, but she hit her head and she had this one-sided joint swelling and pain, much like she came into the office with. Uh, or maybe it was two weeks later. 
And then soon after that, the other side became involved. And so this set off a cascade of things that she's been dealing with and we're trying to sort trying to sort out whether it's rheumatoid arthritis or psoriatic arthritis. I think it's more psoriatic arthritis because she has a better response from methotrexate. And there's nothing in the literature I can stand on to support that or expert opinion, but uh, Humira failed her. Not she failed Humira. You never fail the drugs, the drugs fail you. Uh, Enbrel wasn't as helpful. And there was some other biologic she tried, maybe Simzia, that didn't make her feel very well. Full body hives and all that crap. But she had the best response for methotrexate, best response for her skin disease, best response for her joint disease. So I suspect this is more psoriatic arthritis caused by trauma to the head. And uh, a colleague of mine, Drew McKay Timmermans, who does regenerative medicine, brought to light the existence of a body of literature that I wasn't aware of, showing that when rheumatic patients, rheumatoid arthritis patients have strokes, you have a stroke on the right side of your head, the disease quiets down on the left side of the body and vice versa. So I'm not an expert in this area and it's something I need to read more about, but I just haven't had time because life is chaos right now and a lot of things are on the back burner that I want to be on the front burner like this, but there's more about the immune system and how the brain regulates, regulates it that we're still kind of learning about. And so this is an area I, I will watch carefully and hopefully learn more about soon. But Eleanor, to answer your question, yes, surgery, trauma, these are things that can set off autoimmune disease, okay? All right, everybody, this is Dr. Mitchell signing off. Keep your devices charged. Be safe out there. It's almost Christmas. And uh, have a great rest of your day.